Now, with the gang culture and that side of things in your youth, was it easy or hard to get away from that? Meaning, um, I've heard stories before getting away from a gang can be a, a pretty tough experience. Um, I don't know if that's an experience that you could just say, hey, I don't want to be a part of a gang anymore. I'm going this way, you guys go that way, easy breezy, or was it something you got to get jumped out of? Like, how does that work? Well, to be honest with you, it is something that is kind of hard to get out of. And, 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 and it's sad. Because when you have somebody that want to get away and want to do the right thing, you should just let that person go and do the right thing. You know what I mean? So I took a lot of backlash. I'm not going to lie to you because I became the head person. So when I was saying, look, I want to I wanna stop this, I took, to this, to this day, to this day, if I go around my old hood, yo, we want you to go bust this. We want you to go shoot this. We want you to go do this, do this. And when I tell them no, you know, they get mad. They want to fight and stuff like that. But it's to the point where I don't really care what happens. Because if I really feel like this. If I had to die for a cause, then so be it. So it's nothing somebody could do to somebody that's willing to die for a cause. You know what I mean? So it's so be it. And, and I let people know right now that's watching that might know me and feel like Tommy, you know, a traitor for talking like this. I'll let you know, do what you got to do. But but best believe I'm going to touch millions. And that and that's my goal. You know what I mean? I feel like I was born with a purpose. I got deceived because of my environment. But once I started realizing who I am, and once I started realizing the truth, you know what I mean? So be it. If you got to take me out, take me out. You took Jesus out. You took Martin Luther King out. You took Michael Mess. So what? I'll be a legend. So either way I go, I won't die. Now, you spoke with the message in this interview saying, you know, don't get into the gang life and so on and so forth. What about somebody watching this interview, listening to your story, and is in a gang but wants to get out? How do you advise that person to get out of that type of situation, that environment? Well, I'm going to tell you just like this. I'm going to just be real with you. There's no, no I'm going to be so real with you, so real with you. If you really want to get out, you got to think like this. You was willing to die for a street that don't belong to you. You was willing to die for a, a flag that was red or blue or white or brown. You was willing to die for, for all this stupid mess. So, so won't you be willing to die to, be, to do something positive? You know what I mean? Won't you be willing to die to, to change the world? Won't you be willing to die to, to impact millions of people to not do what you did? Don't be selfish. You know what I mean? You had heart then. You was tough then. You was willing to die for a street that would never belong to you. You know what I mean? So won't you be willing to die to do something positive like I'm doing? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't care who coming for me. You know what I mean? I, don't, I do not care. Don't, do not get me wrong. I have a lot of people to this day talk about me like crazy. Tommy, you a traitor. Tommy, you this. Tommy, we'll do this to you. Do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I fear no man. I only fear God. That's the difference now. I fear no man. So if you want to take me off for doing something right, take me off. You know what I mean? Simple as that.